this is a C sharp ATM system so let me show you guys how it works provided you have the right pin number suppose you enter an invalid pin number that is what you get play the system start all over now this time around you happen to have the right pin number enter and the system shows you the option you have if you click on loan you can always enter whatever amount of loan you intend to go for and how many years and the interest rate as at the time of the loan happens to be 7.5 click on the loan button itself and generate and print out your receipt okay that is how it works you can always reset and clear the whole system then let's go for the next customer invalid the next customer again the valid okay play that and let's try another number okay that one is valid so select a loan that's the loan you want to go for and number of years of payment let's say 10 years interest rate six point five and calculate print out receipt okay and that is how the system works so what i'm going to do now is take you guys straight into c sharp development environment and we'll put one of these together so let's do that now hi and welcome to c sharp tutorial of atm system so let me start by giving my system a name cs atm and make sure you select windows forms application then we click on ok and then now that the application form is ready the next thing we need to go is to go to the project let's set the file size to approximately 1000 368 by I'm gonna go for 700 right there press enter there the application form is ready now so the next thing we want to do is to add as follows the first thing is let's add group box there we go one we need one here okay so that is my group box so i'm gonna need this like this and this one like this as well so the next thing is let's come in here just change the background color of this group box maybe let's change it to maybe something nope let's go for maybe blue all right i think i'm going to set you for that better color this blue color and select all of these group box and i get rid of the let's get rid of the text content on it delete there okay so let's add buttons we don't need the following buttons one two maybe I think two buttons each would be fine okay all right we going to need more buttons here so let's go for four and that's two three and four we will be adjusting that later on and let's copy more yeah we need just bring it down right there those are my buttons ready for now the next thing i want to do is to add i'm going to add some images let me show you the images i intend to add onto these buttons and right here i have the images i intend to add Okay, so let's close close that so and select let's select the first button here and just come right down here get rid of the content in there and uh, 
let's go to images here right there so that's going to be button one let's import let me go to my desktop i think i have it that's atm there we go right there okay that's fine so something about that so that means i would have to readjust that okay let's repeat the same thing for button number two we have two so i'm going to speed that up now okay now guys this is how my interface is looking now for this atm machine so the next thing i intend to do is let's add list box Okay, let's grab one of these and paste it right there. So I won't need four of the five of those really. But let's customize. Okay, five of those. One here and two here. Then I need one right there in the center. Okay, the one in the center. I'm gonna have to customize that. So right here where it says auto size, let's change that to force back color i'm going to change that to okay that back color is yeah that's fine let's leave it the way it is then right here border let's make that 3d and just extend it that much and that's where we will have to enter our pin number okay right there let's take it up a little bit move it up all right so that is where you will have to enter your pin number okay the next thing we want to do is let's get it centered make that center there and get rid of the content in there and i'm going to change the name of that to lbl yeah, it will be helping that's fine okay let's increase the font size to let's make that bold make it bold 12 that is fine and these are the ones let's increase their font size to 12 as well bold 12 okay move this in a little bit and this one in a little bit as well and take it up and let's change the name of this to LBL clone and right in here we're going to enter a loan yeah. and this one is going to be LBL deposits LBL deposit content change that to deposit the next one here let's change that to withdraw withdraw and that becomes LBL withdraw there okay let's move this in so that we can see That's fine about that and this one that's going to be LBL balance yeah balance okay so that would be for account balance LBL balance right there okay guys that is how the system looks right now okay the next thing is to give name to all of these btn loan and i might as well just speed that up btn deposit okay i'm going to speed that up okay this is how they all looks now and they all have a name let's run it so that you guys see how it looks so that's my atm system i don't know maybe um, have to add one or two more things here or maybe just convert it to something else but let's go ahead and see so let's double click on this get the name of this 
that's a pin double click on one so that is going to become let's say LDL pin dot text equals LDL pin dot text plus a, let's say plus one So which means when I run that I can always just append letter ones into there. Okay. It's obvious your pin number will be maybe something like four characters. So I'm just gonna copy that now. So copy and let's come to number two. Paste that for two. Go to three, repeat the same thing. Let's come to four. That's clear. Now we need council. Let's go for council and enter our council first. In council, I think we should declare as follows dialogue result I exit there. So let's say I exit. The next thing we want to do is let's use an if statement to verify that you would like to exit the system equals dialog results. Let's try that again. Dialog results dot yes. So if you there confirm yes, we want the application to become exit dot exit there. So that is my council there. So if I run it, let's run it so that you see what I'm talking about. You click on council. The system asks you to confirm if you want to. Edit. If you say no, and there, there we go. Now let's come back in here. Claire is taking care of. This is taking care of now in here. When we want to enter. Okay, well, I think what we should do is you see one, two, three, four. Let's make it invisible. Let's double click on form load. So we say LBL balance dot visible equals false. There. So when the system runs, all of that becomes invisible. So copy and LBL deposit there 
L ln A. Then L B L withdraw A. So all of these become invisible once the system starts running. So let me copy that. Run the system. Yeah. So they are all now invisible. Okay. Now let's come into enter. Inside there, we're going to use as follows. So let's go for. Okay. Let's declare a string variable of pin1 equals pin dot format so we format whatever we have inside lbl pin number pin dot text and enter a semicolon there so now let's use an if statement to compare or to check whatever we have in it in there if pin one equals I said the first pin number is one two three four and enter a curly braces there I'm gonna copy all of these so enable all of these labels that are disabled so let's change those ones to true be the same thing here and here as well and here so that is for the pin number supposing we have another one here yeah? let's declare another one okay up to five pins or four okay five is fine three four and five we have five different pin numbers i'm going to copy this now let's see else if if the pin number happens to be two, three, four, five, else if happens to be three, five, six, else if four, five, six, seven, so we have four there, then one more is that and that will be five seven five six seven eight so those are the pin numbers else I would like the LBL pin dot text to output as follows invalid invalid right there okay so have a good look at those lines of code here are the variables that I declared they are all local variables and these are supposed to be the pin number for individual users okay we have five users in total so if I run it now let's run the program and see so let's say we enter invalid number there there is invalid okay so we clear that and we enter valid number enter there it enables that okay once that is enabled you can then make the selection depending on which one you want to select if I click on clear I will expect all of these to disappear as well so let's come into clear double click on clear and we just copy all of these copy that let's go back to clear double click there we go and set everything to false okay the other thing we need to do is we need to disable all of this let's disable all, all of those buttons double click on the form and that will be btn btn button one dot enable equals false so you need to get the details right before you can okay so btn i think the next one is deposit dots enable as false 
this world. Let's copy this and just paste it for the other two. BTN balance there. Now we now need one more BTN withdrawal. BTN withdrawal there. Okay, so once the system start running all of these become disabled so i'm going to copy that let's try it out first it's all disabled now you can't do nothing to them okay now what i notice i still have my text in there select it all come to the property where is the property come to the property and just get rid of the text content in there they're all gone all right now let's come into here so if you get it right it becomes enabled so if you have the right pin number the system becomes enabled okay, copy and paste so let's copy all of this and paste it on the other one paste it here as well and here we have one more Okay, so the other place we where we need to paste this, we need to also paste it inside reset button. Where is the reset? Declare clear button. Okay, in the case of clear, it has to be false. Copy and paste that right inside clear. Now let's run the program and see okay now the whole system is disabled let's say we enter the right number and click on enter that is it so we can then make a selection of whatever we want to do all right now let's design the other part of the interface i think i should make that to be the loan so let's exit and come right in here get rid of this for now and i'm going to need a group box or maybe a panel let's go for a panel yeah let's draw a panel there instead of a group box that's my panel there then we need we need some labels one Uh, my other well just PWO process you're just going to be label and label text box and the wish box so we need text box here one two three four I think three maybe labels here label here then we need the wish text box So let's speed up the whole design of the interface and I'll get back to you guys. Okay guys, this is how the interface is looking now. So let me minimize that and let's run it so that you see what I'm talking about. This is how it looks. This is supposed to be one of the interface for, that would be for the loan anyway. So when you enter the right customer details in there, this becomes visible so let's disable all of these other buttons here so what I'll do is let's get their names all right that has no name so we call that BTN BTN loan loan system right and this one is going to be btn receipt okay that is fine let's see loan system receipt double days okay that has a name and this should be exits good so what i will do next is let me change i don't seem to like this blue color let me change it to green so that it's sort of like ram 
rhyme with one of these colors here so let's come in here and just change that good that's green okay now let's come into form load here let's go for btn loan system dot enable make that force i'm gonna copy and paste that onto it there we make that force and we need we also need to make btn exit force btn reset force then i think there's another one btn let's see btn reset btn reset make that force as well okay these four buttons that are force if the end user click on loan then i would like loan to enable all of those buttons uh, that should be true yeah so we just copy and paste that in here that becomes true right okay if i run the system now and enter the correct the correct pin number there only when i click on this that enables that okay and if we click on reset if we click on reset we can maybe with reset we should be able to disable it or maybe clear okay clear should do that then Claire should do a very job coming to Claire here and disable those buttons as well and do that I think it's on here yeah. copy all of that come into Claire and disable those buttons if you dare click on Claire now the other thing is I'm going to copy these exits lines of codes and I'll paste that right in here there okay and we need the names of all of these let's get their names right okay that's the first one reset dot clear need five more and this is called let's pin that down number of years that will be for reset as well dot clear and one more or two more really this one is interest rate very one that is the label so copy that double click on this paste that in there dot text equals clear now the final one I believe that's the label as well okay let's copy and paste this there Then this receipt copy that come right in here paste that dot clear equals yeah okay the reset is done for that as well for now those are the lines of code okay to finish up this part of this tutorial I'm gonna have to declare some variables okay so let's do that let's come in here okay right underneath here we declare the following variables as global variable okay that would be for the 
the loan management system itself and inside the loan management system we're going to enter the following lines of codes so right in here let's double click on this loan management button itself and here those are the lines of code so what will happen is when you enter numbers whatever number you enter into the interest textbox is then converted and assigned into this variable that is the clear way up there okay and then that variable is divided by one 1200 okay now the number of years okay that you enter in here is assigned in here the amount of loan is assigned in here and all of those amount of loan is multiplied by the monthly interest rate okay and then divided by one minus one divided by mass to power as one plus the monthly interest rate divided, uh, multiplied by 12 so that is assigned in here okay and whatever the outcome is then goes inside this variable i payments and that is all there is to it okay, let me show you the codes is that a line of code that's how i've put it together okay the next part of it is the reset here so let's double click on that and right in here we will enter as follows right there and if you are curious about these lines of code i have a tutorial of uh, loan management system on youtube already for c sharp you can always follow that you see one to one tutorial or full tutorial of that load management system so this is the that's the receipt and here we have the calculation and i believe i already have the reset button there and then the exit i have the exit in place already so let's try it out and see how it works okay supposing we enter the right all right let's see okay that is correct i think then we are able to gain assets in here let's enter amount of loan number of years is 21 years in at the rate of 4.5 and click on that let's see that's the monthly payment the total that you pay at the end of 21 years then the receipt here okay now when you click on enter and your pin let's say your pin number is valid i think i like this too i like it to either clear the system i'll clear this text box so what i'll do now is i'll come in here well it's not a text box it's a label clear that very label i mean i'll come in here so let's call that lbl pin dot text equals let's clear it so we're going to repeat the same thing for all of that and here as well and here yeah okay there so if we run it let's say we enter the correct details in there there again access yeah 
and dead. Okay, so as for the balance withdraw and deposit, you guys can always make up something now for that. But and if you like to know more about this loan management system, there's a tutorial on YouTube for you guys. You can always have a look at my tutorial on YouTube of. Uh, the loan management system and you will surely enjoy it okay so what I'm gonna do now is let me just run this system again and you guys see how it how it works really so exit and clear this okay as you can see once you click on clear all of these buttons now get disabled and now until you enter the correct password enter then that activates all of the buttons and here this is the only one we programmed so whatever amount of mortgage you intend to go for and the interest rate 7.9 total receipt and there okay that is how this program works so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you enjoy it and if you have any question please let me know so you all have a nice day now and bye for now